Welcome silencers to a game called Sand, a superfluous game. The dev sent me a key for this game and it does look very interesting. So if you do enjoy the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all those fun things. Thank you very much to my patrons for your ever present love and support. And thank you very much to the devs for considering me uh, for reviewing your game. But without any further ado, let's jump right into it. We'll do slot number one because I am as anal as the rest of you. You open your eyes. Stay alive, you say out loud, half relieved, half disappointed. There is no one around to hear you. There is rarely. The world as you know it has always been this way, a dry and unforgiving land that asks nothing and gives even less. There are stories, fairy tales really, that tell of better times, times of plenty and green, but those are just stories. Or are they? The past doesn't matter now, only the present. You suppose that doesn't matter much either. The sand doesn't care about my feelings. You begin today like you did any other day, walking. You learned a long time ago a very important lesson. Those that stay still in the desert disappear. You've seen too many towns just disappear overnight. Some by raiders or the dead reclaiming what used to be theirs. Sometimes it is just the sand coming faster than they can dig. You dream at night of a place to call your own, a place where you can make friends and start a family. Those are just dreams though. The sand doesn't care about my dreams. Friends and family. What does that even mean? They're just words you heard somewhere. Comforting words, you think, but just words. The sand doesn't care. It is early morning. You feel the ground rumble. Sandworms, you say, resolute in your fate. Well, I had a good run. You wait. But the sand doesn't claim you. You see a cloud of smoke to the north. You've got nothing better to do. Curiosity always gets you into trouble or feeds you for the day. Hungry, you start walking towards the smoke. You arrive at a small homestead. What looks like a giant fireball has carved a gash into the landscape. It landed in the middle of the only building in sight. No signs of life are present. Luck of the desert, you chuckle to yourself, knowing full well luck is as rare as water. Movement. You see something running towards you. You think people call them dogs. Can you eat them? You continue to move forward. Oh shit. Oh. Oh, it's a little it's a little puppers and we can pet it. Oh, this game 10 out of 10 would play again right here and now. I'm just kidding. Dogs are pain in the ass. But okay, what do we got up here? Uh Eta. Something is buried. Try the broom. <laughs> Beep. Hit. Hit. Rebooting. Oh, I'm still functioning. Hey, uh, you, a little help here? Um, what's going on here? The other guy isn't talking to me. I can only assume he is a jerk. Pretty sure he's dead. Did you kill him? Why don't... You clear out this old debris, collect some wood, and come back. I have to run a diagnostic. Uh. Ooh. ooh not sure what I'm doing. Uh. I, I need to oh, collect. There we go. Ooh. I don't like that at all. Needing to press E to harvest stuff. But I suppose it could be worse. This uh, reminds me very much of Miniland. Ooh, the wind. I was like, why the hell is my character moving? That's why. Ooh, and shift makes you run. Cool. Whee! The game is incredibly responsive and you move quickly, which is certainly nice. Okay. Nice. A place. The place looks a lot better. Okay, time to answer some questions. Got it? Sure, tiny human. Sure. But first, all the sand is gunking up my circuits. Do you mind building a few walls to stop it? I'd ask the other guy, but you know, I'm I kind of flattened him. Fine. How do I build? Easy. Press the B button and find the building section of the build tool by pressing the Q and E key. Okay, sounds good. 
Stop talking, human. I am not done. Then use the mouse wheel and select the wood wall and left click to build. Easy. Oh, and you can also right click to destroy a structure and get your building supplies back. Oh, and don't build too close to me. I don't like tight spaces. You are a voice trapped in a box and you don't like tight spaces? Build, minion. Build. Jackass. I already hate the computer. Um, wood wall. Um, okay. No, no. Ooh, and that's how you tear stuff down. That's good to know. Sorry, I'm I'm not doing okay with this whole it looks like shit thing. Okay, and there we go. Now, wonderful. You can call me Earth's Defense versus Impending Extermination, or Eddie for short. And before you say anything, I know I've apparently not done a very good job. After the moon imploded, totally sort of not my fault by the way, I was stuck orbiting the Earth for 300-ish years. Wow. More on that later. You look a little beat up yourself. Why don't you collect some water from that water? Well, out front. There are some cactus around here too. Come back here when you've got enough. Oh, here, you can have my little friend. He is very helpful, though not as pleasant as me. He'll always make sure you don't run away. I mean, get hurt. I am going to remove these. It looks like I get all the materials back when I do it. So I'm going to do that. Okay, let's go collect all that stuff. And those are wood floors, which would put me, whoops. Yeah, put that guy right in the middle of it. Get some walls up. All right, we good there. Do I have, I don't have enough for a wood door. It's fine, press that and we need have that eight. Oh, water, there we go. Wonder how often those refill. Go talk to Eddie. Now you need to make some food. I don't want my new slave um, friend dying on me. We need to gather seeds. Look for some grass around this place. There has to be some somewhere. All right, is, is this grass? No. Is, is, is this grass? No. There's some guy. It looks like the cactus give us water. A little bit of wood won't kill me. That gave me a nut, too. Can't complain there. Um, look around the area to find some. Which one of these is seeds? Seeds. Okay. Well, we'll find something. Oh, yeah, doesn't give me seeds. And I need 12 of them, okay. Wait, what's that? Hey, some metal. Don't care, don't mind if I do. Is this gonna kill me? Ooh. Oh, so that's some kind of like exploration mechanic. That's cool. Wow, that was fast. Not really. 
You're going to have to work faster if you want to be my minion. Okay, go plant those crops. They take a while to grow, so how about we build some more stuff? If you need some more wood crates... Uh, you need some more wood crates if you plan on storing stuff. Don't worry, I'll manage all the sorting and labeling. And you thought I was going to boss you around. Yeah, you're still a dick. Okay. I think that was everything I had. Okay, plant the crops. I did that. Press B. And switch categories until we have wood crates. And we got to build three of them, so. Oh, no, put it back. God damn it. Uh, great store dried goods and barreled store wet goods. If you run out of space, just build more. Now, let me tell you a little about my plan for you. We are going to save the human race. Daunting, I know, but I think we are up for the challenge. I think the best way to do that is to, well, more on that later. If I told you now, your pea brain might explode. And I might take years for me to find another person to help me. First, you'll probably want to start a little wood farm going. Build a few saplings by gathering acorns from old trees, and then build them using nuts and water. Chop chop, the world isn't going to save itself. Okay, so we've got this farm here. Um, let's see. Lights, automation, production, sapling. Okay, I kind of don't like the non-complete grid outlook of it. But that's okay. No, no, go back. I've got to stop right clicking. Ugh. Now, do these have any more water in them? They do have more water in them. I'll take it. I'm going to probably need more of those. This area is pretty good area to grow crops and get water, but there isn't much else to find. You'll need some to do some traveling. Build a sell booth and to sell your goods and build a buy booth to purchase any goods you need. An easy way to make money is by growing crops or trees and selling off what you produce. Also, maybe look into raising chickens. Build at least two sell booths and get set up to sell all your extra veggies. Traders will visit your stalls to sell and or buy goods. A bigger town will attract more traders. I'm sorry, I'm building a town? Build two trade stalls. So that's economy, right? Okay, just make sure. Two more trade stall sell booths. Uh, let's see. That's irritating. God damn it. The right clicking is what's getting me. Talk to Eddie. Yeah, here is some metal for you. Now let's look at trying to defend yourself. You're pretty safe. Oh my God. Sorry. Right here. Zero out of 10 won't play this game again until things like this get fixed. You're pretty safe right now. <laughs> it's one of my big pet peeves is that particular thing as well as the there, there, there distinction. Call me a douche if you want, but it's the one thing in the English language that really grates my gears. Now in your base, but the bigger you get, the more likely people will notice and try to take what you have. Go ahead and build a weapons workbench and make yourself something to defend your hard earned loot. Now might be a good time to explore. Leave your base and go find a nice quiet place to look for resources. You might not have a weapon yet, so be careful out there. 
Leave the base by walking off the screen. My manual on humans says you can run by holding shift, whatever that means. Ah, I also see you have a canteen. If you run out of water, you'll die. You can always craft more if you need to. Wait, you can see? I always see you. Come back after you get a weapon and explore some. All right, well, let's get a weapons workbench going. I'll do not enough resource my ass. All right. Well, time to gather some stuff. I'll gather some stuff and I'll be right back with you once I can craft a weapons workbench. All right, I got some materials for that workbench. God damn it. Uh, okay. Uh, not enough resources, my ass. I don't care about you. I want more wood. All right. All right, so we've got a baseball bat. And uh, now we just need to go talk to Eddie, it looks like. What happened to our last quest? I don't know. Watch it, boss. That looks dangerous. You might poke your eye out. Okay, let's plant some cotton. You cock. Let's plant some cotton trees. You'll need some pods and some nuts. You'll first need to unlock cotton trees from my upgrade menu. Press Q when near me to access it if you haven't done so already. First, take that broom in the corner and dust the sand off my console. Why would I need a cotton tree? To make cloth for beds, just trust me. Here's some stuff I found jammed in my circuits. It's like I hit a house full of stuff on the way down. Well, yeah, you did, and a person. Really? That guy from earlier? Huh, he looked fine to me. Robotic shrugging sounds. There's a broom. So... Uh, do I just... It, am I just stupid? I don't see... I don't see a broom. I'm gonna see if I can sleep through the night. Alright. Um... I don't see a broom. I have 69 water, don't mind if I do. We can change the doggy's name. That's awesome. No, no, we good. We'll keep it dog for right now. And it's very, very hard to see. Seriously, where the hell is the... Room my ass, what is this? That's a bat. Did I pick up? Nope. Use the broom to sweep Eddie. <laughs> I don't see a broom. Did I accidentally scrap the broom? I'm going to go with, yeah, I scrapped the broom. Let's see. Wall.
Okay, so that's wall, wall, wall. The whole way around. Now we're just missing. I don't know. Yeah, give me all the veggies. And then water the veggies. Water the veggies. Feed water. Feed water. And then we go back to the build menu. And saplings. I do like that it gives you back all your materials when you use or when you demolish them. <gasps> Run after him. Nope. Well, let me hit him. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm at a loss for the broom. So, let's look around, see what else we have. A veggie stack is a weapon? Oh, well, there's a chicken. Oh, I can hug the chicken. Okay. That seems dark. You know. I love you, chicken. I'm gonna turn you into nuggets. Alright, I don't see the broom anywhere. Like, there's not an option to craft a broom. There's not, like, an inventory to show the broom. Uh, I'm gonna look around, but if I can't find anything, that's gonna be where we call it today. If you enjoyed the content, you know exactly what to do. Thank you very much to the devs for sending me a key. I do not see the broom. I'm probably just stupid. But, uh, yeah. I won't keep you any longer. Thank you very much for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.